the White House is now enlisting the help of former President Bill Clinton to promote Obamacare before health insurance marketplace is open October 1, right around the corner now. Mr. Clinton will be giving a speech uh, in Little Rock moments from now. The move comes as Republican Senator Marco Rubio is now calling on the Obama administration to cancel the purchase, he says, of nearly $9 million worth of ads, like public service announcements, to support the new law. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Ro Khan is the host of Roe and Roper Radio Show and a contributor on Windy City Live. Good to have you both here. Uh, Ro, let Good me morning. start with you. Uh, th these numbers are coming from Rubio's office. $8.7 million to be spent on public service announcements, explaining to people how to use Obamacare. Uh, we've seen, you know, millions of dollars at least that we know are being spent. What do you make of it? Well, I think there's a lot of money that's already been spent, as you just pointed out, Martha. But really the key here for Rubio, and I think the Republicans at large, is they need to grab this by the horns. They need to take care of fixing this problem. They can't kill this bill. If they think they can, they will not have the votes, and they won't actually have the business sector supporting them in that, and that's a really important thing. What they need to do is they need to call together all the stakeholders here, whether it's the insurance companies, the major hospitals, and ask them in one day, one seminar, I think would do this. All they have to do is ask them, they'll come up with a dozen different little fixes that they'll be able to actually get into a workable bill before the first of the year that actually can get this thing back on the right track. But you're not alone uh, in that sentiment. A lot of people think that Republicans need to come out with a more comprehensive fix. Uh, Leslie, is it right to be spending millions of dollars on public service announcements, bringing in the Baltimore Ravens uh, and lots of celebrities to pitch this thing? Or, you know, would we be better off doing it in a sort of a more streamlined, less expensive way? Well, first of all, uh, as you know, we don't have confirmation of those numbers, except that they come from Marco Rubio's office. And forgive me, as a Democrat, I don't buy it 100 percent. I will say it. Let's say it's a million uh, dollars because we have seen, you know, that there have been ad buys. So just say for the sake of argument that it's a million dollars. Well, the, these costs are already part of the legislation, as we've seen historically with other social programs like Social Security and Medicare. Uh, it is customary, uh, regardless of administrations, to have public uh, service announcements and awareness for people that are coming into uh, senior age with Medicare and Social Security. We have an entirely new program. This is a reformation system. And starting on October 1st, um, I think it is part of this program and the government's responsibility to educate the people on what they need to do, what they can do, when it starts, what is happening. Happening and why? So I, I don't feel well, that. The, you know, I, I mean, the argument is a lot of people feel that a lot of public service announcements have an agenda, uh, and that it's not correct to use taxpayer dollars to push an agenda by using that money for those purposes that a lot of people see as having an agenda. I, I don't have a lot of time, and I want to get your thoughts on this. Let, let's play the soundbite because Bill Clinton is to the rescue on health care. He's going to give a big speech in Little Rock, uh, and here he is in what I think may have been a turning moment in the election from the convention over uh, the summer. President Obama started with a much weaker economy than I did. Listen to me now. No president, no president, not me, not any of my predecessors, no one could have fully repaired all the damage that he found in just four years. <laughs> Uh, at the convention. Real quick from both of you, about 15 seconds. Can Bill Clinton change the tide on this? Roe? I don't think he actually can because he's going to have to answer three important questions. Why did they make three major changes with the health care rules before January 1st? Medicare cuts are not coming. The employee right. mandate is employer mandates completely messed up. And most importantly, out-of-pocket costs now are not going to be capped starting January 1. So he's going to have to explain that. How's he going to do right, that? we got to hop over to Leslie. Leslie? Uh, absolutely, he can make a change, although it's not been implemented yet. Roe can't say it's going to fail until we start it off. Uh, President Clinton, uh, former uh, future, hopefully first man Clinton, uh, will definitely make a difference because I think that the way he speaks to the people is clear, it's concise, and, and, and he's so relatable, right. and the people understand, and when he speaks, they listen. What's he, what's he doing? Uh, we will see. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Roe. Thanks, Leslie.